Let's look at another example of how to balance chemical reactions. Let's look at the combustion of propane, C3H8. Let's start out by examining the actual reaction itself. In the actual reaction, we see that propane, C3H8, that is the formula for propane, in the presence of oxygen, combusts to form, to turn into, carbon dioxide and water carbon dioxide and water. This is a combustion reaction. Those are always the products. Oxygen is the f uh, necessary for the reaction to go in. The fuel that we're burning is propane. So those uh, amounts are set. The C3H8, the O2, because of the Hofbrinkel thing. CO2, that's the formula of carbon dioxide, and we all know that H2O is water. So we need to balance this thing, uh, but we cannot change any of the subscripts. Subscripts, the small numbers at the bottom. All we can do is put coefficients, big numbers, out in front of each chemical formula. We can put a number in front of the C3H8, we can put a number in front of O2, and that tells us how many of those things, how many of the whole things we have, how many of the groups. And so we can visualize this down here at the bottom. Propane is represented by this molecule right here, and that would be an oxygen molecule. So this is what we have to begin with. We have one of these and one of these, and when we're done, we're going to make carbon dioxide and water, H2O, two H's and an O. So uh, if we kind of look at this right now, we can just kind of begin to inspect and see whether or not you can, again, the question of balancing is can I take these things and turn them into those things uh, with no leftovers and without bringing anything else in, and I think it's fairly obvious that we can't. If we just look at the hydrogens, the red ones, there are eight of them right here and only two over here. So clearly we're going to have to, if we're going to start with eight hydrogens, we cannot make just one water molecule. We're going to have to make more than that. We're going to have to make four of them, aren't we? Because now if now we've distributed all f eight of those hydrogens over here. So now there are eight on each side. But that causes a different problem. The problem now is that we have one, two, three, four, five, six oxygens. Uh, but we've only got two oxygens over here, so we're going to need to start with more than two. We'll start with six now. Now, but remember, all we can do is we can kind of, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the clone button over here. I can only make more of what I have. I can't bring in uh, partials. I have to bring in the whole thing. So now we've got this and this, and uh, I believe everything's now balanced except for the carbon. The carbon, we start with three over here, three of the blues, and we end up with one, so we need more of those. So there we go, another one, and another one. So now we have uh, the carbons balanced. We have the uh, hydrogens are still balanced because we didn't change those, but notice that we actually messed up the oxygens there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them on the left right now, and so we need ten on the left, and there we go. And so I believe everything is balanced now if we uh, count everything up. Um, so what do we have here? We have one propane molecule. So we could write uh, that number one right here, but we don't usually. We will kind of ha have the one remain assumed, so we'll usually leave that blank. But if you put a one, it won't be wrong. Uh, then we have how many of the O2s do we make? Well, that's an O2, 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 that's five. There are five of them. What about the carbon dioxides? These are the carbon dioxides over here. We have one, two, three of those. And we have four water molecules. And so now we're balanced, and if we check it, uh, on the left we have three carbons, three times one is three, and on the right we have three carbons. On the left we have eight hydrogens, eight times one, and on the right we have four times two is eight. So everything before and after the arrow has to equal, and so far they do. Now let's check the oxygens, five times two. Uh, five times two is ten, and on the right we have three times two, that's six. Well, those don't equal, oh, but wait, there's more on the right over here in the water. There's four more from the water, so six.
plus 4 is 10, and so these are balanced.